What's going on, you guys? All right, so this month on Defending Cinema, I'm doing something a little different. I am not defending a specific movie, but I'm defending a specific director. His name is Joel Schumacher. Y'all probably know him best for the flops. Batman and Robin and Batman Forever, as well as his 2007 adaptation of The Phantom of the Opera. And he gets shit on quite a bit. And to tell you the truth, he does not, he does not deserve it at all because he's actually a very talented director. He, he directed other movies like The Lost Boys. If you watch The Lost Boys and then watch Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, you would never know that it was, this, it was the same director. You would never know unless someone told you. But yeah, he he's directed really dark movies like A Time to Kill, which if you've seen that movie, oh yeah, it is not like colorful colors and you know, slapstick humor and all that oh no it is very dark very dark and also movies like the number 23 which i hear is ruined by the ending honestly i've, I've never seen it but yeah joel schumacher was actually a very talented director and say what you want about him but i freaking love his movies those, well, the movies of his that I've seen, I love. I mean, his version of The Fan of the Opera. Me and my family loved that movie so much. We could not be in the car with my mom without her jamming the soundtrack to that movie. We freaking loved it that much. And, sure, you know, there was... A bunch of jokes going on about how, oh, because Joel Schumacher was gay, he looks at men the way Michael Bay looks at women or something like that. Honestly, if you're one of those people that made fun of him for that, go screw yourself. Because that's just not funny. It's just not funny. And so... Sure, he's best known for his massive bomb, Batman and Robin, because of all the freaking puns. I mean, come on, it's just like, what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! The Iceman cometh. Let's kick some ice. Bear with me. I've loved Batman and Robin and... Batman Forever. I've loved those movies since childhood. Okay, you can judge me all you want, but I love those movies, regardless of what you say. And Joel Schumacher was a very talented man, very talented director, and overall just an amazing human being. And we lost him this year to cancer. Can 2020 please just screw off already? We've lost Eddie Van Halen, we've lost Joel Schumacher, and we've lost a lot of good people this year. Just thank God we only have, well, as of Sunday, just, uh, just two months left of the year. But anyway... Thank you all for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay awesome. Most importantly, stay positive. And go watch some of Joe Schumacher's work. Look him up on Google if you, you don't know who he is. You might find some of his movies that you like. 
Joel.